I feel very bad when I meet my friends. They are doing very well. But me, I'm living in misery. Knowing very well that what drove me there is alcohol. Okay, people may, may think that you like, that I like alcohol very, but I hate it very much. But I made myself back there. I think I'm addicted. A boy child is not protected. There's a Kiswali saying that says, Mui hua muema. Uh, I have seen people change from negativity to positivity, and I know it can happen. Alcoholics, they never used to come for rehabilitation, now they are coming for rehabilitation. What is it like? Okay, I went to a primary school, uh, locally called Wamagana Primary School. Mm, from class one to stand eight, I was never number two. Mm. Okay, in Yeri High School, I was number one. In okay, in Yeri District, it used to be called Yeri District. What is, what is called Yeri County now? I was still the first one. Uh, nationally, I was number seventeen. Uh, I had no problem. Mm. I got an A of. 83 out of the maximum possible 84 points. So I wanted to be a doctor. I was working very hard towards that goal. Mm, and fortunately, I performed well. I got admitted to University of Nairobi for a course in Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Started doing very well. That first year, I was not drinking much. But when I thought that I had passed first year, the people see that it's very hard because we are doing anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. They are known to be very hard subjects. So when I passed, I went to second year. It was a very easy year. I started drinking very, very much. But I still passed. I went to that year. That's where problems started. That's why the university introduced, as in, if you don't attend more than two thirds of the classes, you won't be given exams. But the first, in that year, the, that first year, I was not given the exam. Where were you hmm? when you were supposed to be in class? Where were you? I was in bus. Okay, I had a, a very bad clique of guys who were just thinking about drinking. Some rich guys. But me, I didn't have that much money. But I joined that clique. So you used to go to traffic headquarters, Nairobi area. There's a canteen there that operates 24 hours. Instead of going to class, that's where we were going. That's when I decided I'll never go back to med school. I started looking for jobs, yeah? but the only certificate I had was the form certificate. No, I, I, my prospective employers, I showed them my home for certificate. If you had passed me, where do you go after this? I told them, I'm, I'm a university dropout. They are saying, no, 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 we can't hire you. So I got very depressed. Continued drinking more, continued drinking more. Went back to construction sites, continued my habit of imbibing. So accessing alcohol was very easy. Mm. But the society, everyone is saying this is a failure, this is a failure. So I, I didn't even have friends. Mm. Everyone was saying that I'm a failure. This is the guy we were looking forward to. Our children were supposed to be like him, but now he's a failure. Then after some time, I think after three years, that's when I went back now. Back to fourth year. Okay, that was given the exam that I passed. Then I went to fifth year. Mm, when I went to fifth year, okay, I tried to behave in the first semester, but after the first semester, I resumed my drinking habits. And towards the end of the year, I had not even studied enough to qualify. Okay, or not even being denied the exam. I was not feeling that I had studied enough. So I didn't even go to the exa ex exam room. Mm. Then they, they registered me again. 
And that time, that's when I, I came to the current DC. And I tried to talk to him, and he gave me a letter to go back. I was readmitted. But still, that year, when I was readmitted, I still did the exam. So up to date, hmm? Mm, you have to go back, I have to go back to fifth year, do the whole year, and hopefully, hopefully qualify. I'm very hopeful that I'll be like them one day. He always said that he used to wait for the help money to go to his account and then he go and drain the whole lot of money. When he came here, 20 bob, compared to live at Nairobi and Nairobi University, it was easier here to get in now to get into deep alcohol and to become chronic addict. Most of the time he could, he, he, he always tell a story that most of the time he, he could prefer being in rural than being in Nairobi because here yeah, a body to give you 20 bob is very easy. We started a group of one uh, who was my patient. We started with Rafael Wangombe who came to the facility with the withdrawal syndrome of alcohol, alcoholism. So we talked. I managed the signs and symptoms. Then later, he brought another friend because it's uh, the buddies now, the drinking buddies. He went and said, no, 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 last night me, I slept very well after visiting the facility. So it went like that. The next day I had six. After that, I said, no. One day I had a bang of 19, pop. So I decided, let me start something for them. We went for three months. After sobering up, people dis discovered that there was change and they were aspired. So we echoed the community way of saying team aspired because it was aspiring many. I've been attending counseling sessions in this health center. I've, I've rediscovered myself and retracing my steps back, I, I have seen that I have done very many mistakes. People have been very patient with me. Just pick one of the boys here. The mother will not ask you what time you come home. After class eight, you have your own cube. You are free. You become the lion of the village. Your mom kind of find that, no, you can now interact with the other guys freely. But a girl child, come home, it's five. You'll have to explain where you are, who you are with but it doesn't happen to the boy child. With that, they'll go and they'll get into the drugs. The fathers are nowhere to be found. There are no mentors. There are no mentors. I think it is the high time the father starts from a young boy. They also change our mindset and try to listen to these young boys and girls, mostly boys. I've told my, 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 my colleagues in the administration we used to dismiss these young boys. But I told them we have to change attitude. Perhaps they have something to tell us. We should give them an ear. And we are seeing that there's a lot of change. Most of the youth will tell you that they are no longer taken care of if they are boys. You ask for your mother if you are from a poor background to give you money for shave? No. You can really get that money. But for a girl child, I want my girl to be smart. That is a society. So we protect, we try to protect the girl child so, so much, we forget the boy child. And that's what leads these boys to alcoholism. The guys, we are in the team part. Okay, most of them are older than, okay, majority of them are older than me. Okay, their marriages had broken. But since we came together, I've seen a lot of change. Families have come back apart. People are working, as in the, even as in before that, they just used to wake up and look for money to, to buy alcohol. When there is no that productivity, number one, uh, the, the level of uh, domestic incidences eh, becoming too much. To an extent, we had to open uh, gender based violence recovery center in PGH, which I can tell you the trend we are seeing of gender based recovery center is that. The indicators are improving in terms of lesser, fewer and fewer are now coming for the services of GBV. That's an indicator I would give, medically speaking. 
somebody who has a brother or sister who has cleared from four and that person perhaps stays in Nairobi or Mombasa, they are ready and to, to call their, their, their young sisters than brothers. The brothers are still left at the village here, unengaged, idle. Women are very busy in the morning when young guys who are supposed to be working and not women working are idlers. They are just sitting around. You go to the shopping center there, you find young men. They'll say that the manual, they don't have jobs. The parents and, 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 and guardians must not leave this problem to government alone, whether county or national government. As I've said, this is a social issue that must be tackled by all, starting with the family. We have to have community behavior change. I've been applying to go back and they told her to get back to me. So if I get that chance, I'll be very serious and get a job. My mother is very close to me. She has been very supportive. Mm. Okay, I've disappointed them, but she has been very supportive. So what I would want to say to her, give me a second chance. If I get admitted, support me. Let me finish my course. That's my prayer. That's my prayer. I feel very bad when I meet my friends. They're doing very well. But me, I'm living in misery. Knowing very well that what drove me there is alcohol.